So I presume everyone who's watching this does enjoy going cycling or going on bikepacking trips, but there are lots of reasons why people don't end up going on bikepacking trips. And one of the big ones is time. It's very easy to plan long trips, going for one, two, three weeks, or even seven months, and then realizing that either you can't take enough time off work, or you've got childcare, or lots of things like that. But sometimes just going on an overnight, one day bikepacking trip is still enough. And for me, it's a great way of just clearing my head and getting rid of all my screens and everything and just heading out into the countryside and just enjoy spending a night outside, either in a tent or a bivvy, um, just yeah, sleeping under the stars and yeah, just enjoying it really. And so today, after I'd closed my laptop, finished work, I packed my bags and planned a little overnight route. And this was really inspired by the 12 hours of May challenge, which is a challenge from a couple of cycling and outdoor brands including uh, Outdoor Provisions, uh, Albion and Wahoo. And it's really just to encourage people to spend 12 hours in May outside. It can be at night, it can be at, during the day, just spending it however you want. So yeah, that's why I thought I'd head out today. It was out on fire, our house, our dream. We were dancing on the wire, where clutch it seemed. We found holes in these walls, we like what we saw. Seems so strong until it falls, the final straw. I tried. So hilly. We were dancing on wild red clays. Check out this view. Whew, made it. Everyone always takes longer to get to here in Devon. There's just so many little hills that are constantly up and down. But I did choose the sort of smaller country lanes, which probably didn't help. But it was really scenic. So yeah, probably set up a camp by this big rock. And yeah, make some pasta with a view. This is the life, just got the pasta on, in my bivvy, got the last light in the sky. It's just so amazing how a couple of hours after leaving the house, it feels like it's been ages cycling along. All these different sounds and wildlife and flowers. And yeah, it's just like, I've only been gone from my house for like three hours and it's, yeah, I completely forgot about work and it's such a good way to spend 12 hours. And you really feel like you've made the most of it. And even to see on the map where you've been and yeah. Well, it doesn't even matter how far you go really, it's just the experience more than anything. So yeah. Better check my pasta.
So I'm nearly home now and yeah, that concludes the 12 hours of May challenge. Yeah, it's such a great idea to get you outside. Um, yeah, even though it's, well, I've been out for about 13, 14 hours, but yeah, it feels like I've done so much and seen so many new places and yeah, enjoyed camping out. Yes, I challenge you to do it as well. And even if it's not in May, you can do it anytime. And yeah, let me know how you get on.